quality education, expanding access to learning, serving learners' learning needs, tackling challenges of the present time, supporting every learner's dream, Reaching young Bagomenos where they are today. Advancing in the challenge of distance learning, the official TV-based instruction of Deaf and Tagum City, bringing you quality education straight to your home. Plug yourself in. This is Deaf and TV. Karana. in column A to its meaning in column B using a line. Write your answers on your notebook. You will be given 30 seconds to answer this activity. Your time starts now.
words are really amazing. They could be really thousands of words that could confuse us. You could try to memorize words from the dictionary, thesaurus, and other online resources to enrich your vocabulary. But did you know that there is another way of knowing the meaning of the words? Yes, and it is through analyzing its part. I am here to help you out. Come on, let's find out. How are you going to find the meaning of an unfamiliar word in the dictionary? First, look at the first letter of the difficult word. Second, use the guide words found at the top part of the dictionary. Next, start looking for the specific unfamiliar word on the same page. Then, copy the meaning of the unfamiliar word and memorize if you want to. Lastly, repeat the previous steps every time you use a dictionary in getting the meaning of unfamiliar words. Let us answer the questions on page number 3. I will give you 5 seconds to answer each item. Question number 1. What is the paragraph all about? What is your answer? Fantastic! The answer is letter A. Steps in finding the meaning of unfamiliar words using a dictionary. Question number two. What type of text is a given paragraph? What is your answer? Good! The answer is letter C, procedural or sequence. Question number three. What signal words were used to indicate steps or procedures in looking for words in a dictionary? What is your answer? Amazing! The answer is letter A. First, second, next, then, and lastly. Now, let's proceed to our lesson. These pictures will help you to fully understand our lesson for today. Look at these pictures. What word describes the pictures? What do you think? What is your answer? You got it right! The word is champion! Catriona Gray and Manny Pacquiao are our world-class champions. Let's have the crossword hand. Open your module on page 5. Direction. Complete the crossword puzzle. Use their meanings as clues. Do this on your notebook. You will be given enough time to do the puzzle. Let's start! We have here the clues of words that are written across the puzzle. Let's have number one. Displaying grace or beauty in action. Number four. 
someone who dances. Number five, showing or expressing passion in doing something. Did you get the words? Great! Now, we have here the clues of words that are written down the puzzle. Number two, other term for the word winner. Number three, refers to ability, skill, or talent. Number six, a contestant who loses the contest or competition. Did you get the words? Great! Did you enjoy the word hunting activity? Great! Now at this time, we will be reading a story about the real champion. The Real Champion Aya Chanel is a graceful dancer. She loves to join events such as dancing competitions. There are times that she ends up being the loser of the event. But that didn't stop her from becoming more passionate about her craft. She continuously joins more exciting dance competitions. Win or lose, it didn't matter. What matter most are the lessons learned and friends gained in every contest. That is the true essence of being a real champion by Franz L. Did you love the story, kids? Always remember that all of us can be a champion. Now let me check if you really understood the story. Let us answer the questions. Question number one. Who is Aya Chanel? Right. Aya Chanel is a graceful dancer. Question number two. Does she win all her dance competitions attended? The answer is no. She loses sometimes in a dance competition. Question number three. If being champion does not mean always on top, then what is the essence of being a real one? Great idea! The true essence of being a champion is accepting failure wholeheartedly, looking things in a positive way, valuing the lessons learned, and not surrendering or giving up in reaching your dreams. Did you get everything right? Fantastic! It was indeed a very inspiring story. We can be our own Aya Chanel. I know that you're very much excited for a new topic. Now let us read and understand the underlying words in each sentences. Dream becomes impossible if you think that way. Life makes us laugh and sometimes cry and that makes our life colorful. Let us pay attention to the underlying words. Possible and cool. They are called root words or base words. Impossible and colorful are words formed when letters like M and FULL are added. These letters are called affixes. Affixes can change the meaning of a root word. Affixes have two types. 
the prefix and the suffix. Prefix is composed of letters added before a root word. Example, im plus possible is impossible. Suffix is composed of letters added after a root word. Example, color plus full is colorful. These are some of the common prefixes. Prefix miss plus behave is misbehave. Misbehave means behave wrongly or behave badly. Misbehave means negative. Miscalculate means wrong calculation. Also, the meaning becomes negative. In short, prefix miss means wrong or badly. Now flip your module to page 9. Prefix M plus perfect is imperfect. M plus mortal is immortal. Imperfect means not perfect. Immortal means not mortal. Prefix M means not or opposite of. It is only used for root words that begin with B, M, and P. Prefix this plus like is dislike. This plus able is disable. Dislike means not like. Disable means not able. Remember that prefixes can change the meaning of root word. Now, let's explore some of the suffixes. Flip your module to page 10. Suffix full, care, plus full is careful. Thank, plus full is thankful. The word careful means full of care. The word thankful means full of thanks. Suffix full means full of. Suffix less. Example, care plus less is careless. Hope plus less is hopeless. Careless is the opposite of careful. Careless means without care. Hopeless means without hope. Now suffix less means to be without of. It is the opposite of suffix full. Suffix er. Dance plus er is dancer. Sing plus er is singer. Someone who dances is called dancer. Someone who sings is called singer. Suffix er is usually added to an action word to mean someone or something that does the action. To make everything clear, remember this tree on page 11. Did you now understand the affixes, prefix, and suffix? And how they are being used to change the meaning of the root word? Can you give your example? Great! Let's have an activity. Direction. Tell if the underlined affix is a prefix or a suffix. I will give you 10 seconds to answer. Write the answers on your notebook. But before that, let's read the words first. Painful. Impolite. Painless, mislead, swimmer. Your time starts now.
kids? Now, let's check your answers. Number one, the answer is suffix. Number two, the answer is prefix. Number three, the answer is suffix. Number four, the answer is prefix. And number five, the answer is suffix. If you get four to five, incredible! You are now ready for the next activity. If you get three and below, it's all right. There is always a room for improvement. Now let's have an activity. Come on, let's learn more. Direction. Complete the table below. Write the answers on your notebook. The first one is done for you. Activity B. Direction. Fill out the table with the information being asked. Write the answers on your notebook. The first one is done for you. Are your answers like this? Check it out! Did you get all the answers? Great job learners! This is your final test. Let us see if you can still remember all the things that you have learned today. Are you ready? Come on, let's begin! Direction. Give the meaning of the underlined words. Write your answers on your notebook. Number one, Mang Ambo is a tricycle driver. The underlined word is driver. Number two, Rico was tearful when he saw his mother after 10 years. The underlined word is tearful. Number three. After finishing college, Jody is still jobless. The underlined word is jobless. Number four. Jonna got a low score in the test because she misread the instruction. The word is misread. Number five, it is impolite when you go home without doing my pop to the elders in your house. The underlined word is impolite. Jack today. But before we end this lesson, let us have first a short recap. We talked about up 
prefixes, prefix and suffix. When we say prefix, it is an affix added before a root word. When we say suffix, it is an affix added after a root word. Great job, kids! Now we are done today. Congratulations, kids! I hope you will all remember all the things that we have learned today. Always keep in mind that reading is fun. And the journey of a lifetime starts with the turning of page. Reading is the key to learning. And the more you read, the more you will know. And the more you will learn, the more places you will go. And once again, this is Teacher Jill Rose Miagonia, your English for teachers saying, Thank you and always keep safe. Goodbye!